Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? So, I got a 700 mile review. A little over 700 miles. I'm a Yumi X13. So, basically, I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons of this beauty. All right, so it's going to come with a screen when you first get it. Kind of like the Cabo Wolf King and stuff like that. But you see, the thing is, it's a gimmick. It sucks. It only tells you, what is it? I don't even know. You can't even change the screen at all. The only thing that works on it is the signal. So you can see if you're going left or right. But just look down right over here. We got two front ones and two back ones. So we don't really need all of that. Honestly, I took it off to attach more things on my handlebars. It sucks, I took it off. You don't need it. Another bad thing I would say. Hmm. Oh, the remote that comes with the scooter that changed the lights. The one that it comes with it sucks. It actually broke within three, four days that I had the scooter. Guess the power button didn't work. I got this off of Amazon for $8. Works perfectly fine. Other than that, this thing is a monster. It does not feel like an electric scooter. More like a motorcycle. It's insane. Just the stability. Feels like it got a built-in steering damper. You don't need one at all for this thing. And high speeds is ridiculous. The stability is crazy. 25 to 30 maybe. You can ride with one hand. Because look how wide these tires are. It's crazy. 5 inches wide. I think 13 inch tires. The tires make a big difference while riding, guys. I'm telling you right now. Big difference. Got it a full charge right here. These are my keys. You know, represent Puerto Rico. Hope you guys recover soon. And Florida. Shout out to Florida. But, you know, these are my attachments. I'm going to get this side eventually on this, on the left side. Got my JBL over there, but other than that, man, everything works perfectly fine. My signals, you know, have it 700 miles. Signals, they'll work. My horn, no problem. I might have to change the brakes, my back brakes, but other than that, I caught one flat tire. I bought Armadillo, never had a problem, you know. But highly recommend this scooter, guys. Just take off that screen and you'll be fine. The screen sucks. Just use this screen for your P settings and everything. Another thing is the cutoff voltage is recommended like around 75% battery. I don't recommend that. If you want your full range, I'll put it all the way to dead 60 volts. Just be very careful, read your volts meter, make sure you don't completely kill your battery. Try to at least do like 10, 15% and then put it on the charger. But other than that, thing's a monster. The range on it is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But that was just a quick wrap, wrap up. That's my helmet. That's one of my helmets. I got a bell helmet inside somewhere. Oh, yeah. Uber Eats on this every day. This is actually my vehicle that I drive every day. I'm telling you worth every penny. The lights are so damn bright. We got two. And one big one right there. I highly recommend it. Yaomi X13. Remember that, guys. Yaomi X13. I want to see this against the Cobble Wolf King. It got dual 4,000 watt motors, guys. This this is not no toy. 
It's a 72V plus on their website. It's crazy. Very powerful. Very powerful, guys.